star. You've come to be a star. High five. High five. Or that. All right, we'll look for truffles. So you're looking to get some milkweed going, but you don't have any seeds. What do you do? What options exist? Well, of course, the number one supplier of milkweed seeds are milkweed plants themselves, right? Already here in mid-July, you can see my milkweed stalks, Asclepius syriaca, common milkweed. They're already starting to grow some of their pods. Cute little buggers. These seeds, of course, are now immature and won't be ready for nature to disperse them until late September and all throughout October. Now, as recently discussed in the video on milkweed categories, one of the first priorities you want to have if you're going to get into this is to find where local natural milkweed is already growing in your area. Seek out, explore, try to find where is there some milkweed in your area as that's going to be a place where you have food resources already available to you and that's going to be a place where come fall and that can be a different time depending upon where you're located but come the right season you're going to be able to collect some free seeds from there. Free! But some of you might be asking the question, what about seeds right now? Lund, I get ya. I, I want to start establishing some milkweed at my home and establish it in other areas. It's on my to-do list, but what can I do as far as getting some seeds right now so that way I can be planting them this year and have that crop of milkweed next year? Well, let's make sure that we're on the same page about something first. If you're hoping to get seeds to start some milkweed plants so that way you are going to be able to grow some plants to have as food for your caterpillars this year, I gotta pop that balloon for you right now. That ain't happening. Any milkweed plant that's starting out this year, growing its new legs, and by legs I mean roots, no new plant is going to be able to be a food source for caterpillars and survive to tell the tale. Here's the actual plant from the thumbnail of the video that came out this May. I think it was May 25th. The one on TP core sprouts. And that picture of it was shot somewhere around mid-May. It's now mid-July. We're dealing with about an inch and a half of height here. This is not going to feed any caterpillars anytime soon. So keep that in mind. If you're looking to get some seeds right now, so that way you can help establish some home milkweed, or you can help establish some local milkweed that's in some natural areas around your area, then cool. But if you're looking for some seeds, because right now you've got a number of caterpillars and only so much milkweed, and you see a food shortage coming down the road for you, trying to get seeds to grow milkweed to try to help that situation this year isn't going to do it. The milkweed that you plant this year is really an investment in the future. It's not really going to be there to help you or the monarchs until at least next season. But trust me, if you're going to get into this for multiple years, that planting of milkweed, it's worth the investment. Now also, is it too late to plant milkweed? I don't know. It depends upon where you are, what your location is, when the seasons change for you, do the seasons change. But what I can talk about from my common milkweed Asclepius syriaca Michigan perspective the patch of milkweed I have here and kind of also in that direction behind this bush, that all started with just six sprouts that were maybe only about an inch taller than this one. And I planted them in late August of the year I started it. If you saw Planting Milkweed Part 3, I talked about this story back then too. Um, it was plants that looked pretty much like this, just a little bit larger, six of them, and two weeks after being planted, they were gone. Like something had come and eaten them down to the ground. I thought it was just a failed experiment. The next spring, stalks sprouted right up, so the root system had established. So for common milkweed here in Michigan, late August was not too late to plant. So use that as inspiration for whatever it is you decide to do in your backyard. So let's look at the low cost options first. I don't know if you knew this or not, but people will give you milkweed seeds for free. If you do a quick internet search of free milkweed seeds, a whole lot of options come up. Now, a lot of these options are organizations, groups that have gotten together to establish a free milkweed seed exchange program. Got some extra seeds, you can send them to that organization. And if you're looking to get some seeds, they're willing to send you seeds, usually for the cost of just an envelope that's stamped already with your address on it. There's many options, a plethora of them. Plethora? I've always said plethora. I'm going with it. There's a lot of options. I'm not going to go through all of them. You do some research on that, but just to bring up one of them, for example, LiveMonarch.com has had a free milkweed seed program for years now. And what's really cool about it too is that they will match up seeds that they give you with your region as to where these milkweed seeds, you can plant them here because it's a milkweed species that's natural to your area. And so if you're getting seeds that are already native to your area, well then you know that you've got a milkweed species that should be able to thrive in your ecosystem. 
LiveMonarch.com, as of at least July 2020, are willing to give you some seeds for free, self-addressed stamped envelope, and they'll match it up to your region. And they're not alone. There's lots of different groups and organizations that are willing to do that for you. And something to just pin in your mind, too, if you're watching this and you do have a lot of extra seeds each year, maybe think about donating them to an exchange program like this or even starting your own. Now, something else you could do, if you're willing to do it responsibly, if you're on a quest for seeds, there's a lot of Facebook groups that have already put together the work of organizing seed exchange programs. I'm not part of Facebook. I never have been. And I feel like every year there's something new added to the list of why I'm happy to not be a part of Facebook. So I don't see that really happening in the future. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't strong benefits to being part of Facebook and being able to get into contact with these groups, and I urge you to do it. Go check out and see what kind of different conservation ecology groups there are with seed exchange programs. If you know of some that have successfully been used by yourself, hey, talk about it in the comments section below. I bet you if you're watching this video and you've given it a, a few weeks, go down in the comments section and see what kind of different seed exchange programs are there. But notice I am saying do this responsibly because, hey, let's admit it, you're talking to some strangers on the internet. And even really good, honest, caring, compassionate strangers on the internet are still strangers on the internet. Now, after looking at those low-cost, essentially free options, certainly there's the option of just purchasing some milkweed seeds. Whether that's from online vendors, local suppliers, whatever the case may be. And when it comes to a pack of seeds being about five bucks online, uh, it's more of a cost than I'd want to pay, but I could also say it's a pretty low cost to get you started if you really wanted to. And it's up to you what you want to get, but I would recommend finding milkweed species that, again, is native to your area. You already know it's going to do well in your ecosystem with your kind of weather, your latitude, your temperatures. That's what I would do. Now, I hope you're okay with all this, but you may have noticed one of the options I did not bring up is this guy. I am not a source for milkweed seeds. Sorry. Over the years, some people have asked me if I would be willing to send them some milkweed seeds, and sorry, but... I'm not going to do that. But hey, there was no harm in asking. You're still cool. Believe me, I would love to send you seeds if I could. But let's think this all the way through. If I start sending out some seeds to a few people, it's not going to take long before I'm getting a whole lot of requests for seeds. And that's something I just don't have the resources or the time to be able to do. If you're checking out this video because you need some seeds, well, that's where you are right now on your timeline. But think about a year or two or three later, it would be better if you found a reliable source for seeds for yourself now, this year, and that way in coming years, you can point people in the right direction when they're looking for seeds. You can be an ambassador informing them as to, hey, here's a great place where I got some seeds before, you can too. I hope you recognize and are understanding of the logic I'm trying to use here. So in closing, this video is also kind of meant to start the conversation. If you know of a great place where you've gotten some reliable seeds before, or if you know of certain groups that are doing a nice seed exchange that you participated in, then leave a comment in the section below and point some people in the right direction. Help me out. And in years coming, hey, if you find a new source, leave the comment here too, and let's try to keep that information up to date if we can. I appreciate the help. Because we're in this together. We're helping out the monarchs together. We're planting milkweed together. And I can't thank you enough for doing what you're doing. I'm Rich Lund cooking in the hot summer sun, so I'm ready to close out this video. Thanks for checking it out. Good luck with your seeds, and I'll see you next time. Bye.